Hi guys, Matt from Satsukure UK here again. Just going to do a quick video today, show you guys uh, the main different types of cameras that are available, or some of them, um, and how they all differ from one another. I'll start from on the left, show you guys the first camera. So the first camera we've got is a 2 megapixel analog fixed lens camera. It's 3.6 millimeter fixed lens uh, with a 20 meter night vision range. When I say 3.6 millimeter, that means the lens is basically fixed at 3.6 mil, this little lens here. 3.6 millimeter lens will give you like a 75 degree approximately viewing angle, uh, which is fixed so you can't actually adjust, adjust that viewing angle. This is also a four in one type camera. Um, so Basically, that means it'll work on any type of DVR. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was like um, so many different camera types available, like AHD, TVI, analog, old analog cameras, uh, and everyone had different DVRs. No one knew what cameras worked on their DVR, but this camera works on all types, so it kind of makes things a lot simpler. This is also an IP66 rated camera. Um, the higher those IP numbers, the more kind of watertight it gets. You can't get much higher than IP66 without it being like a camera designed to go underwater. Uh, so this is kind of the highest weatherproof, waterproof, dustproof camera you can get. <clears throat> I'll take it apart, show you what's inside. So basically, all these cameras, com it's just basically a, an eyeball inside like a, a housing unit. So basically, when you're installing these kind of cameras, um, you can adjust this eyeball to wherever you want it to go. Uh, and put this back down. It's got kind of a little waterproof seal as well inside here, which you know obviously keeps the elements out. Um, so yeah, you can just kind of loosen these off uh, and adjust the ball to wherever you need it to go. Move this thing around. So if you've got it kind of upside down, want to want to look make it look straight down, you can do. Uh, if it's on a wall, you can kind of adjust it just by loosening that housing there and tightening it back up again. Also, on every analog camera pretty much, you have a little on-screen display button here. Now the on-screen display, if you click the button in, you can bring up like a load of different features, change brightness, contrast settings, uh, the name of the camera itself, uh, white balance, all that kind of stuff. You can also, as this is a 4-in-1 camera, toggle to the up, down, left or right to switch the modes uh, between the different modes of the camera. So that is the dome camera. This camera here is a very focal analog camera. It's two megapixel. Uh, it does about 30 to 40 meter night vision and it's got a 2.8 to 12 very focal lens. 2.8 to 12, a 2.8 mil lens will give you about 90 degrees, which is like half a pie. Quite a, quite a considerably larger viewing angle than the, um, the fixed lens, which was 75 degrees. Uh, which is just over a quarter of a pi, if you think of it in pi terms, which uh, I know that I do. Um, this is also another four-in-one camera, so it'll work on all camera formats. The main, yeah, the main reason it differs is it's got more infrared LEDs here, uh, and it's got uh, a very focal lens. The lens can be adjusted. If you look on the side here, it's got a zoom and a focus settings. All these cameras come with a little baby screwdriver. You can stick a screwdriver in there and manually adjust that lens if you wanted to zoom it in on like a, a car, for example, on your drive, or if you wanted to zoom it out so that it's got that 90 degree viewing angle, uh, you can do. And that's the main difference between that type of camera here. Yeah. With the 30 meter night vision, it does make these cameras a little bit more expensive than the fixed lens ones, which are usually the cheapest ones you can buy. Um, but it does have its benefits for the extra amount of money that you pay. The last type of camera I've got to show you is an IP camera. This is a 4 megapixel, 20 meter night vision, 3.6 mil fixed lens IP camera. So it's got the same viewing angle as the first camera that I showed you. Uh, the main difference is that it's 4 megapixel, which is twice the uh, image quality of the first camera I showed you. Uh, IP cameras uh, stands for Internet Protocol Camera. Um, basically, that means that the, ca the cable that's used to wire the cameras together to the, to the NVR or DVR is different. It's all Ethernet cable. Uh, and the main benefit of Ethernet cable is that uh, you can send higher, larger amounts of data down Ethernet than you can over coax, which is what's used for analog camera wiring. If you look at the end, you've got an RJ45 jack. Uh, Ethernet cable is the same stuff you use to connect your DVR to the router or your TV to the router or your PlayStation to the router. It's the same type of cable. 
Uh, one of the main benefits is something called PoE, which is power over ethernet, which means power and video can be sent down the same cable. Coax cable, where you've got these two, so you've got video here and you've got power here. This one, everything can be sent down one, which means you know if you're drilling holes in your walls, trying to put cameras up, uh, you can drill smaller holes. You don't have to fit both of these things through. You can only fit. You only have to fit one through, and the cable is just a lot thinner in general. Also, you can get a lot higher megapixel resolution with IP cameras. I think currently the highest you can get with an analog camera is three megapixel, whereas with IP cameras, they go up to 12. They might even go up further than that. Not many people want 12 megapixel cameras uh, for their homes and businesses currently, but you can get them, they are available. The main difference there, obviously, if you've got a, if you've got a 1080p TV, two megapixel is pretty much 1080p. You're not going to notice a huge difference um, with an IP camera on a 1080p screen. But as soon as you go onto like a 4K screen, something like that, you'll notice a, a huge difference between the two. Um, obviously, if you're kind of digitally zooming, all that kind of stuff, you're going to see a big difference there. Uh, image quality wise, if you're wanting to catch number plates, things in high definition, uh, it's going to make a huge difference. And that's pretty much the three types of cameras that I've showed you. I've shown you a, um, a fixed lens analog camera, a very focal analog camera, and a fixed lens IP camera. Those are some of the most common cameras that you're going to see around and about. I've kind of given you guys some information there on, on, on the different types and uh, the different features of the different cameras that we have. I will leave links in the description to all the cameras that we've shown in the video. And if you've found it informative, leave us a like. If you've got any questions, drop us a comment. Thank you very much. Thank <music> you.